Hello everyone and welcome back to Lost Planeswalker and today I'm here to talk about Sheldon Mennery. Sheldon Mennery was possibly one of the most important people in the modern day magic scene and sadly he has passed this last September 7th 2023. Sheldon if you didn't know is known as the creator of Commander, Magic Gathering's most popular format and the format that has propelled magic into its mainstream popularity today. I wanted to do this video as a little memorial to Sheldon so that everybody who didn't know where he came from and how he became involved in magic could learn. So who was Sheldon and how did he get into Magic Gathering to begin with? Sheldon was born on Fort Meade, military base in Baltimore. Later on, he would join the Air Force where he would spend 20 years of his life serving in the U.S. Air Force Communication and Computer Division. While working in the military, Sheldon would meet his wife and they would spend the rest of their lives together. Sheldon was first introduced to Magic Gathering while on duty at Gen Con in 1993 and in the following year when he was deployed in Belgium would continue to grow and love the game. In 1996, Sheldon would become a DCI judge and a few years later he would be promoted to a level 3 judge in 1998 and level 5 in 2004. Sheldon was involved in Magic Gathering in several ways, from judging to covering content to even helping design Commander decks. So how did Commander as we know it get started? Commander, or Elder Dragon Highlander or EDH for short, was first designed in 1996 by Adam Staley. The format revolved around the five Elder Dragons from Legends and was creative but would become much much larger in the following years, receiving some major updates. While stationed at Elmendorf Air Force Base in Anchorage, Alaska, Sheldon and some of the other members would spend their spare time playing this format and altering it, creating the idea of EDH with any legendary creature. Other advancements, like 100 card singleton, and making the magic format that revolves around a more casual gameplay experience compared to the competitive nature that Magic the Gathering was known for. In 2005, EDH or Commander was officially recognized by Wizards of the Coast and continued to grow. Sheldon would go to further help the development of the format by creating and becoming the original founding member of the Commander Advisory Group, whose purpose is to monitor the format and recommend suggestions on cards that may cause this format to become anything Thing, but the fun, casual format it was meant to be. Sheldon, over his many years, wrote over 800 articles for Star City's games, where he would help players with judge questions and commentary on all other kinds of magic news. Sheldon sadly succumbed to a long battle against throat cancer on September 7, 2023. I originally had no desire to make a video talking about Sheldon's death, but as I looked into Sheldon and started to read all the messages from his loved ones and fellow creators, I started to feel the pain and sadness that all of those lucky enough to have a relationship with him were experiencing. If you want to tear up, please look at some of the amazing outreach that has been sent since his death. Sheldon, thank you for your life, your dedication to our country, this game, and to all of your fans. I would not be here today and be feeling the mass amount of love everyone is sharing in your passing as you gave to everyone else during your life. I have made so many friends because of this game and specifically Commander as a format, and you have forever changed my life for the better. Thank you, Sheldon, and thank you to everyone who is watching this video. While researching this video, I found a list of Sheldon's decks on Star Cities Games website. I will add a link in the description if you are interested in checking them out, and I hope you have a great day, and as always, I'll see you later, Planeswalkers.